What's up guys, we're back for another Transformers review, taking a look at some Power of the Primes figures today, and it only makes sense that these guys are together. We're gonna do a couple Dinobots. We have got Swoop over here, and we have got Slug over here. So they come in that same kind of standard box that we've seen. Uh, I, again, as, as, as I've said before, I dig the packaging on these guys. I think they're nice, they're clean, they're consistent. I dig the card art. I don't keep them, but I like them. And on the back, we've got uh, some product shots. Standard stuff, but they look good on the on the shelf. Very enticing. So let's pull these guys out. Take a look. All right, guys. So here are the Dinobots out of their packaging. We've got Slug on the left here. We've got Swoop on the right. And first thoughts is that I'm actually digging these figures pretty well. Uh, they are pretty solid, and I like the general aesthetic we've got going here. They are just like with Grimlock, somewhat G1-ish. They're not definitely not. You know. Uh, point for point the same. There are differences. They don't look exactly the same, but they look enough like that to kind of bring the nostalgia factor in. And then I think they're pretty good toys in general, so uh, we're going to go through them. There's not tons and tons to talk about because they are smaller scale Transformers, but there is some cool stuff. You know, we've got new, more modern articulation with these current Transformers that I'm personally not used to, uh, but it's pretty standard stuff. And then we'll look at uh, dino modes and, and all that good stuff. And we'll compare them against Grimlock for size as well. So we're gonna pull, uh, let's do Slug first, and then we'll look at Swoop. So I'm big, I'm partial to Triceratops if we're talking about uh, dinosaurs, and that's what Slug is. So um, let's do, do articulation real quick because, like I said, it's more modern. There are more points of articulation. They can do a little more. You can get them to be a little more dynamic. See, they've got that knockover action uh, that we frequent on this channel. But in general, Slug is actually the more restrictive of the two. Uh, in terms of articulation, they have the exact same stuff. Swoop has one more point of articulation and uh, Slug has some hindrances just due to his design. So the big hindrance is the head. His head is encased in the mouth of the dino mode. He, you can move it. It does have a swivel, but it's really hard and he really can't go too far. Arms can go out. Uh, it's on a ball peg. Swivel all the way around. Bicep swivel. We've got hinged elbows. Uh, there's nothing at the wrist unless you want to count the fact that the wrist can move backwards, but that doesn't help with robot mode. We've got a waist twist. Uh, ball, ball pegs down at the uh, pelvic region as well, so legs can go out pretty far. And then we've got kick forward, kick back. There is a uh, rotation at the peg there in that leg, so you can get a little twist. And then he's got a hinged uh, knee. There's nothing at the foot for this guy. Just it's a huge chunk of plastic, so there's no real way for the uh, you know, for the foot to really move or anything like that. So you kind of have to rotate at the leg, up at the upper thigh, to get any kind of uh, dynamic motion there. As far as his look in this particular mode, I think it looks pretty good. His feet are pretty chunky, and that might be my one point where I don't really care for it too much. It's kind of big. But, you know, it's a Transformer, and for me, you know, I've said it before in my videos, I'm still pretty casual about this, so, you know, I don't get into the specifics on it. It doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look bad to me, though, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it, and it does, you know, he stands up pretty well, except for when I knocked him over. As far as paint on him goes, it's a Transformer from what I understand. We don't really get a whole lot these days. Uh, there, you know, there isn't really, I don't think there's any stickers on him outside of these two down here. And they're applied pretty well. We do have some translucent plastics. There is obviously some paint on him. Now we've got gold down here. Uh, we've got different shades of silver uh, from a more gunmetal to a shiny silver. We've got some reds. And then it's mostly just molded plastics. So I don't really have any issues. Uh, he does look kind of flat in some places, especially on his chest in comparison to the more metal metallic uh, look on the arms and the legs. But overall, I dig his look, and you know we do have some uh, translucent plastics on him. And like I've said in in videos past, I am a sucker for translucent plastics. As far as accessories goes, he has one accessory that he can actually you know really utilize. That's not one of the uh, prime armor pieces, and we'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, but he's got a blaster rifle. It's just cast in black plastic. Nothing too crazy. Kind of a standard transformer looking gun, but you know at least he's got something. So let's take a look at Swoop real quick. All right, so of the two, this is my favorite. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Uh, I think his design is very cool. He's very sleek. Uh, like I said, he shares pretty much the same kind of articulation that Slug has, with one notable exception for me, uh, outside of the fact that his head is very much more free moving. But he has a, you know, ankle pivot <laughs> in some regard. You know, that would be his ankle down there. So he can, you know, you can have him 
bend over a little bit more. It just, it's another point of articulation. It's not gonna, you know, blow your mind or anything, but it is there. I do dig his overall look. Uh, like I said, he is very sleek, uh, and I think he looks, he just looks a lot more dynamic to me. He's not as chunky as Slug, which, you know, it goes with the idea of him being a pterodactyl versus a bigger triceratops, so I get it. Uh, as far as the overall sculpt and paint goes, I think it just looks really nice. We've got a lot of different colors here, silvers, grays, blacks, reds, blues. We've got the, the gold with the translucent overlay on it, so it looks, you know, clear, but there's the gold underneath. There are a few stickers on his chest and then on uh, the what would be the beak of the pterodactyl there. We do have some green paint on the wrists as well, and then we've got some green in those eyes. Or no, that's blue. Sorry, blue. Uh, so yeah, I, ju I just, I dig his overall aesthetic. You know, again, I'm going to say it again, casual about this uh, for Transformers. I can't get too deep into this. It's just going to, it's going to ruin everything if I get too deep into Transformers again. Uh, but I think he looks really nice. He is well proportioned in robot mode and he just looks really cool. And that's really what it comes down to for me. He looks cool like this. Uh, as far as weapons go, he has a sword. It's cast in red plastic. Um, yeah, that's about it. Looks really cool. You know, he has a sword, Grimlock doesn't, which is a is a problem and a story for a different day, I suppose. Uh, but at least he has one. And again, you know, I think it adds a little bit of a cool factor to him because it's actually kind of a cool looking sword. Uh, you know, very techno looking, very Transformer-esque sword. I can dig that. So uh, we're going to transform these guys now. And let's just do a quick look at uh, Dino Mode and then we'll take a look at these uh, Prime Armor things. Okay, so here they are in dino mode, and they are relatively easy to transform. I didn't actually have to use the instructions for either of them, except to make sure that I did it correctly. So they transform pretty easily. It's about a dozen or so steps, I think, for each one. And if I have to rank them, you know, I like Swoop the best in robot mode. I like Slug the best in dino mode, and there's a distinct reason for that. So, you know, Triceratops, Pterodactyl, in general, they look pretty good. Uh, this guy looks a lot better to me. I think his proportions look good. He's, you know, bulky in the middle. He's got the, the short tail. He's got the horns. In general, I think he just looks good. The aesthetic works in dino mode. Very cool. Not a whole lot more to say about that. He's cool. Swoop, on the other hand, is kind of bulky. I mean, just look at him. He is... He looks more like a rocket ship with a with a set of wings and a beak than an actual pterodactyl. And I just, I don't really care for this. That said, I'm not going to have him in dino mode, really, ever. Um, so it's not a huge deal for me. And he really, you know, he's, he's form factor is set for, you know, kind of the play value to zoom him along past or something. But he doesn't look terrible, but at the end of the day, he doesn't really look very good either in this mode. So, you know, if I had to pick, it's going to be robot mode for him. Uh, in, in addition to that, he does actually have a very weird use for his sword. You can actually peg it in under the beak, and he's got, you know, a blade mouth or something now, which I think is odd. Um, I don't particularly care for that at all. Now, as far as their uh, prime armor gimmick things go. We've got these guys, and there's uh, two of them. They're the same, basically. I don't really notice any difference between them. These can just peg on, um, you know, they can hold them. You know, slugs can go on his back. And basically what these are going to be for is uh, for when you form Volcanicus, whenever whenever we can do that. So yeah, I think the gimmick is actually pretty goofy for the most part. So, you know, there he is with that on his back. I don't like it. I'm not using them. Uh, and I'm not going to keep Volcanicus transformed, most likely. Uh, but I am going to do him, especially once we have access to him for the review. I think this gimmick in general is kind of weird. Uh, it doesn't do it for me personally, but, you know... Again, casual person here, so take that with a grain of salt. So, like, this is going to be a hand, or it's going to be a foot, or something like that, because uh, they can become different body parts. So the instructions will tell you how to make slug into a leg, or how to make slug into an arm, etc., and so on. So, yeah, Prime Armor, uh, so far, I think they've all come with something like this, right? Sure. And they've got a little doodad in the middle there. So, yeah, Prime Armor. Uh, slug is the winner for Dino Mode, for sure. No, no doubt about it. 
All right, guys, so like I mentioned, here is a quick comparison in terms of just size and get an idea of what they look like together uh, of Swoop and Slug Deluxe class figures alongside Grimlock, a Voyager class figure. So there's obviously a size difference. They're smaller, obviously. And, you know, but generally I think they look well together. Um, Grimlock is obviously a bigger character, so he's going to be a bigger figure. Here's just a standard six-inch figure just to show you size comparison. So, you know... Swoop and Slugger are five-ish, and Grimlock is just a little over six, depending on how you got him posed, closer to seven. So they 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 kind of range between an inch and a half uh, in terms of overall height apart, and then Grimlock has a little bit more girth to him. But I think they look really well together. The gold coloration and the clear overlay plastic I think is really what does it for me in terms of tying them together. Those little accents really do it for me. Uh, but in general, you know, I think they look cool. Grimlock is a longtime favorite of mine, so it made, only made sense for me to get the rest of his crew. All right, so overall, I'm pretty happy with these, like, like I think you can imagine at this point. Uh, if we're talking favorites here, Swoop is still my overall favorite of the two. Uh, I just I like his aesthetic in the robot mode. I like his sword. He's a pterodactyl, kind of cool. Uh, Slug does look really good in general, but he looks better in dino mode, and I don't really think I'm going to display these in dino mode, so that that kind of takes away from for me for just a bit. But overall, they're fun figures. You know, they're pretty cheap, and they're dinosaurs. You can't really be upset with dinosaurs. You know, come on. So that's going to do it for this look at the power of the primes, Slug and Swoop Dinobot figures from Hasbro. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know down below what you guys think about these, especially those of you that are really into Transformers. I am genuinely curious. So let me know. And until next time, guys.